The old saying of a picture is worth a thousand words is anything but true when it comes to search engines. For the time being, search engines cannot view an image and then know what keywords to associate them with. Instead, search engines rely on the webmaster to give an indication of what the image is about via the alternative text feature. In iWeb SEO tool, click on the Images tab and then highlight one of the images under the image field. Right below, a thumbnail of the image will appear which will allow you to see which image you are currently dealing with. Under the alternative text heading, double click and type in the text that describes the image. Remember, try and include the keywords or phrases you have been using throughout your site while also keeping the text short, to the point, and relevant to the actual photo. Do this for all images you deem necessary to have alternative text. When you are done giving alternative text for the images on that page, click the Apply button. Repeat this process for the remaining pages on your website. We are now done using iWeb SEO tool for doing our on-page optimizations. We will still be using the application later on in the video, however for now, publish these changes if you have yet to do so. A quick tip for when you update your site in the future. After you make your changes to your website and then publish it, you will need to open up iWeb SEO tool again, load your site, and then hit the Reapply Save Tags button in the bottom left corner of the application. So let's assume that in two months, you decide that you want to update something on your site. You open up iWeb, make the necessary changes, and then publish your site. The changes you previously made in iWeb SEO tool will be overridden until you go back into iWeb SEO tool, load up the newly updated site, and click the Reapply Save Tags button for all of the required pages. So remember to create your alternative text because it provides search engines with information about an image. They can also be helpful for visually impaired users.